Okay, so what's up guys, this is Adrox and in another video and in today's video I'm going to show you the complete Halloween guide uh, This is basically I'm going to show you every single one of the Tayashi items from the great spook stuff all the way to the great spook one enchant um, And also I'm going to show you how to kill each one of the primal fears uh, So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it so first of all, uh, let's start. So first of all, you're, the first one you're gonna need to get is the Great Spook Staff, for which you're going to need 10 frozen spiders. The way you're gonna get frozen spiders is you're gonna use an ice rod, which it costs like, right now it's a bit overpriced, but it costs like 400k, and you're going to need to fish it using Spooky Bait, uh, which costs 260. And then you're gonna need to go to the spiders then, you're going to need to fish here, and then there's a chance you're gonna catch frozen spiders, you need 10 of them for the staff. For the wet pumpkin you're going to need to get, to go to the builder, buy an appalled pumpkin, wear it on your head, then you'll need to jump to the water, and as you can see, your appalled pumpkin has transformed into a wet pumpkin. And that's how you get the wet pumpkin. For the 5 decayed bats, you're going to need to go to the weaponsmith and buy a wither bow. Then you need to go to Jax and buy ice free arrows. This might be a problem for some people because you do need ice collection level 7 and combat 21 and target practice level 2. But it shouldn't be too difficult to get. And then you need to get, uh, I already, you need to kill bats. To do that, I would recommend going into the forging collection, Dark Oak, and this Roof Force Island. You can place this on your island, it would come with a bat spawner, and then you just need to kill a couple of bats, and you get the, the five bats, and you get the five decayed bats. Uh, with this set, uh, with the Wither Bow and the Ice Arrows, you have a 100% chance of getting a decayed bat when you're killing a bat. Um, for the poisoned candies, you're going to need to craft this using. So you're gonna need 20 enchanted poisonous potato, costing you about 500k. You're going to need five carrot candies, costing you another 150k. Then you're going to need to go to Shifty, which is the bartender next to the dark auction. You're going to need to buy 20 tutti fruity flavored poison and you need to place the 5 carrot candies in the middle the poisoned carrot candies in this fashion and then just fill in the tutti fruities and that's how you get the 5 poisoned candies for the sweet flesh, flesh you're going to need to buy a sweet axe from the lumber merchant and then you're going to need to kill f 12 um, 12, 12 graveyard zombies and that's how you get the 12 uh, sweet flesh. For the rogue flesh, you're going to need to kill a tier 1 revenant zombie at the last second it's alive. So basically, I'm gonna, uh, you, you do, the, when you spawn a tier 1 zombie, it has 3 minute timer and you need to kill it when it's at the last second. So basically, uh, you need to be able to do more than 500 damage a hit and not die to and be able to camp the tier 1 rev. But other than that, it's pretty simple, you need to do that twice, and yeah, that's how you get the rogue flesh. For the precious, you're going to need to go to Anita and buy an Infinidirt wand. And then you need to go to the Dwarven Mines, and you need to go, uh, you need to go to the Dwarven Mines and underneath, underneath the ice. Walkers uh, Air Bridge. Uh, there is a place, there is a railroad that leads to a guy named Dirt Guy. And uh, I, for some reason, every time I get close to there, it crashes my game. So here is a clip of how to get it. For the obscure ending, you're going to need a blindness potion, uh, which you either can get from Squid Collection level 6, um, or you can get it from the AH by typing blindness, 
and you can get it from an auction. Um, it will cost you some money, but it's not that expensive. Then you need to go to the end, and then once you're in the end, you're going to need to go to do the end race, which is basically you need to go here with the blindness active. You can go do the race pretty easily, you just need to teleport around a bit until you get to the other side of the end. Then you can pretty easily locate the other side thanks to the beacon. You step on this pad and then you go back to where you, the race began and, your, and Goober is going to give you the obscure ending. Um, this You have 3 minutes to do it so it's very easy to do. Um, and then you just need to go back here and you can buy the great book necklace. For the head of betrayal you're going to need to wear a cow head. Then uh, with the cow head um, you need to go to Jake at the desert. This is Jake, and then you basically can talk to him. And if you have, and if you, in your lobby someone has gotten, get brought a cow to Jake, you it will turn your head, uh, your cow head into a head of betrayal. You can switch, need to switch it to which lobby a couple of times, and you can pretty easily get it. For the five dead seed, you're going to need to go to the builder, go to Green Thumb, and buy one dead bush. Then you need to go to the bazaar and buy five enchanted bone mill then you need to go either to your island or to your garden and place uh, the dead bush and bone mill it five times using the bone mill enchanted bone mill and that's how you get the five dead seeds for the fairy wing you're going to need to go to a dungeon with enchanted shears which you get by crafting to iron, enchanted iron in this fashion and you get enchanted shears. You need to go to a dungeon, I would recommend a floor one because it's the easiest one. And then once you found the fairy room, you need to hit the fairies five times to get the five fairy wings. For the two free spiders, this one is a bit more complicated, you're going to need to go to the mines of Divan in the crystal hollows. Then once you're in the mines of Divan, you're going to need to get a gold axe and a diamond axe and an emerald axe. Then once you've found the golden diamond and emerald axe, you need to go to the golden mine and then you need to go to the anvil and combine them and you get the scavenged iron hammer. Then once you get the hammer, you need to go to the spider's den and once you're here, you need to hit this cage and you're going to get it. Uh, you're gonna get the two uh, spiders. For the great spook artifact you need a bunch of stuff that are uh, question mark. So the stuff you're going to need for it is first of all you need to go to the builder. Once again go to variety, get a lettuce and an onion. Then you'll need to go to the bazaar, get six pieces of wheat, get one piece of raw beef, get one piece of oak, log or any type of wood it doesn't really matter get a tasty cheese and you'll need to go to the golden mine talk to rusty and buy a hunter's knife if you haven't done the race in the in the park you might need to do you'll need to do that and you need to buy one of these put it in, uh, inside uh, 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 potato minion. I cannot show you how to get uh, for. You need a tasty. Uh, you need French fries. For that, you need to get a potato minion. Uh, no matter what tier, and have the hunter knife inside of it. I I, w I cannot show you this, but it does work. Uh, the reason I cannot show you it is because I don't want to remove one of my minions. Uh, they've been placed for a long time, and I don't want to remove them. But that's how you get the French fries, and then you need to. And then you need to bring all of this. Oh, also you need to cook the raw beef with dark, with any piece of wood and you get the beef. And you need to craft the, the wheat into two pieces of bread. And that end with the french fry, you can upgrade your great spook ring into a great spook artifact. For the eerie, you need two thermal gratitudes. So what you need to do uh, is fill your inventory 
they are sacks with every single trade a visitor can ask for so enchanted hay bales enchanted golden carrots enchanted potatoes enchanted baked potatoes and stuff like that and then you need to go to the garden and accept the visit a visitor the second he visit your island so as you can see i have a visitor visiting me in 12 seconds so if i had my sack filled the second it would visit me you need to stand here and then the second it visits you you need to spam it and then accept it instantly like that and then you get the formal gratitude You'll need two of them for the eerie pet. For the 10 sewer fish, you need to go into floor 3. Then you need to go to the boss fight. Then once you're in the boss fight, you need to get to its last phase. If you're in the last phase, you're going to need to fish. You're going to need to wait for the water to rise. And then you're going to need to fish um, in the water. So if we wait for a bit, you can see the water will soon rise. And then you just need to fish in here until you, and you're gonna get it is a bit annoying because the lasers uh, do bother you from getting the water, getting uh, fishing. But yeah, yeah, that way you get the sewer fish, and then you're going to need ten of them to get the the item. So I've read your eerie pet from common to rare to get the eerie tree. For the eerie toy, you're going to need the nightmare nullifier. To get that, you're going to need to go to the dwarven mine once again. You'll need to go to this place and talk to Bednam once every skyblock day. Then, after you talk to him three times, you're going to get uh, after day three, you're going to get a, a mission to go all the way to this place. You can see this area here. You're going to need to mine these blocks right here and you're gonna get a treasure. Once you've gotten the treasure, you're going to need to go to the AH or you can get it from the uh, Crimson Isle as well. Um, you're going to need to buy a black coffee, which will cost you like 100 to 50k. You get it and then you need to give it to Vietnam. You're going to need to give it to him and he's going to give you the Nightmare Not Fire. You, you're going to have like a small dialogue. And then in the next Skyblock day, once it hits uh, 12 a.m., uh, you're, uh, you're going to need to talk to him again. You're going to get the Nightmare Nullifier. For the soup, you're going to need to buy either a magical soup or a mystical soup from the bazaar. Uh, the, ma the magical soup is just cheaper. If you go to the cream, and then you need to go to the Crimson Isles. And if and go to Pablo, who is right here. I'm going to write the course in the description. Uh, but this is Pablo. You need to give. You're going to need to give him the ma the magical soup, and you're going to get the soup. And then you're going to be able to buy the great spook reforging manual, which will unlock you the boost down, which is a reforge for your armor, great spook armor for the secret potion. You're going to need to get an awkward potion inside of a brewing stand. So just get a bottle of water, another wart, and you'll also need um, to go to the to here to the secret drops and buy any one of these drops. Um, the inflatable jerry is the cheapest, so I recommend this one. Then go to your island. You need to put a water bottle and another wart to get an awkward potion. Then once you get the awkward potion, you're going to need to mix it with one of the with one of the secret potions while wearing the full monster hunter setup, which is the skeleton helmet, guardian chestplate, creeper pants, and either spider boots or tarantula boots. I would recommend a spider boot just because they are cheaper. And then that would let you, as you can see, so you haven't unlocked this recipe. Uh, the thing you need for unlocking this recipe is wearing the Monster Hunter set. And then you're going to get the secret, secret potion, which will unlock you the Great Spook Potion, which is which gives you three spear for 24 hours for 20k. For the scary grimoire, this one is a bit more complicated. You're going to need to have exactly. 7,871,265 million coins in your purse on the dot. So 
you should put all your money in the bank and make exactly this much. That I would recommend for this taking out the emerald ring and the coins, talisman of coins, because this will give you more coins and you need this exact number. Then when Sirius spawns in the dark next to the dark auction, you're going to need to talk to him. And he is going to give you the scary talisman, the grim the thing you need for the grim war. Which is the shadow is indicate riddles, illuminating unseen stars is going to give you that, which will unlock the great spook one, uh, which is an enchantment you're going to put on your great spook armor, um, and it gives you more fear. And that is how you get every single item from the Taya Alshi uh, Alchemist. In addition, there's also an event where you, you can spawn uh, fear, uh, scary. You're going to be able to spawn primal fears, which the way you get them the easiest is you need to wear uh, to have as much fear as you can. So I recommend wearing the, the full great armor, great spook armor with the reforge and everything. With in addition to wearing all the spooky the spook uh, equipment while having the eerie pet on, and that way you get the highest chance of spawning primal fears. There are three types of primal fear. There is the math teacher, there is the public speech, speech the, and there is the, pub, uh, the uh, pub, fear of darkness. Uh, each of them has a different ability. So let's just spawn them real quick so I can show you. We're going to just need to kill some random mobs at the hub and then there's a, ch you, there's a chance you get a primal fear. Uh, as you can see, I spawned a primal fear, it gives you a chat. A, message in the chat so it will spawn the primal fear and then once you kill it one of the three types of primal fears is gonna spawn this one is a deadline so basically what you need to do is stand still for seven seconds um and then you just after the, the, the timer is, uh, is done you're going to get to hit it one last time and get to kill it for the next primal fear uh, I'm, for some reason, I'm, I'm not getting uh, the luck and I'm not spawning any primal fears. But the other type of primal fear, there's the math teacher that will ask you a question in chat and you'll need to solve it. For example, just a random question that I got earlier is like seven, 12 times 7 and you have to write in chat 84 and then it will elevate you kill it. And there is this uh, stage fright where you need to chat to write in chat um, like 20 letters or something and then it will let you kill it there is the deadline which we saw that you need to stand still and then after a couple of seconds it lets you kill it uh, let's see which one he gets just luck there is the darkness shade which basically gives him blindness and then he has a hard time killing it and he teleports around it's a bit harder killing it but yeah um, and there is, I'm pretty sure that's all, those are all the fears and that's how you kill all of them. Uh, the reason you should kill the dark, the fears is because they give you dark candy which is worth quite a bit of money. In addition to that there is this area that you get from kill, getting uh, dark candies. Um, I don't know why for me it's bugged right now, um, but you basically, once you get 600 candy, you get more and more items, uh, including the black woolen yarn for 200 candies. And that one is worth a lot of money, like 7 mil. It's just very nice. Uh, and also, it would upgrade your black hat to mythic. So, yeah, that's how you get every single item, and that's how you, you kill every single primal fear in Hypixel Skyblock Great Book Event. I hope you found this video helpful, if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and turn on notification and until the next time, goodbye!